all is well in your world. I wanted to take the time to introduce myself to the many new followers of Teaching with Mental Health in Mind. I'm Erica Worthily, the creator of this page and this community. And I live in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I'm a former teacher. I taught for seven years and I've continued to work in schools for over 10 years now. I make it a point to share multiple, the multiple challenges and strategies um, and some of your stories that occur in our schools that are related to mental health. And many districts are addressing the needs of the students. However, what seems to be missing or not necessarily happening in a sustainable way is meeting the needs of the educators the staff, the teachers, the school leaders who may be dealing with some of their own challenges as it relates to mental health while caring for and educating the students. Education isn't like other professions. Um, you're working with an area of passion or expertise and at the same time responsible for educating students, other people's children, sometimes 25, sometimes 200, depending on uh, whatever your subject area is or your grade level. So what happens when you have your own children that you have to love, care for, and nurture? What happens when you've experienced your own crisis or trauma? What happens if you have your own health challenges that you face and then yet you are still responsible for maintaining an, a classroom management strategies and maintaining um, classroom culture within your school? What do you do when some of the stresses that you have are not necessarily related to school? So to address those challenges, I began a group, Teach Whole, which focuses on not just um, the, the stresses that occur within the school, but as a whole, everything. So that includes professionally, obviously, but it also includes getting your basic needs met. So socially, um, physically, creatively, intellectually, getting those various needs met. It's genuinely important for us to be able to maintain some sense of balance in order to fulfill our role as educators of our children. So what I would like for you to do, if you have not already, is continue following this page, share this page, um, send me a message, share some of your experiences, and we can have a discussion on it. If you have not joined the group Teach Whole, it is a private community where you can ask questions, share information, exchange stories, and even be an encourager to others. I would certainly love to have you join this community. Again, my name is Erica Worthily. If you have any questions, if you have a story that you would like to share with me, please let me know. Also, if you need somebody to do a training, professional development as it relates to mental health, as it relates to educator self-care, as it relates to teaching whole and getting lives more in balance and still being able to maintain um, the professional drive to continue in education, please contact me. I am available and I do travel. I enjoy traveling quite honestly. Um, so I would love to hear from you. Please share um, and let others know that yes, we have to care for the students, but in order to care for the students, you definitely have to care for yourself. Remember the time to be whole is now. <laughs>